Urban economic history is encapsulated in the urban center famously named 64 because of road number 64 on which stood the Eldred railway station. We all know the role played by Uganda Railway in our country's economic, political and cultural history and the dramatic changes our communities underwent after the advent of colonial settlement. As a result of its early promise as a major economic hub in East Africa, Eldoret attracted traders, workers and professionals from far and wide who settled here, contributed to it, its economic growth and built a cosmopolitan population whose diversity has been the secret ingredient to Eldoret's vigor and perpetual dynamism. This place bears visible imprints of the legacy of people from India, South Africa, and Britain, as well as every Kenyan community who settled here and made it their beloved home. Over nearly a century, Eldoret has undergone dramatic transformation, growing from a sleepy farming center to a bustling metropolis that is the face of Kenya, a home for all and a city of the future. It has established itself as a recognized hub for serious investment in agro-industrial and agribusiness biomedical and medical trade and commerce, tourism and hospitality, sporting and entertainment, and finance and technology. This event affords us an occasion to reflect on and celebrate the positive impact of devolution. In just one decade, was in Gishu County took over the Eldoret Municipality and Warren County Council, overseeing a transformation that has made a compelling case for Eldoret to finally join Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, and Nakuru as Kenya's fifth city. Devolution has enabled Wazingishu to harness the immense potential of agriculturally rich and resource-endowed hinterland throughout the North Rift and to catalyze the ambition and energy of Eldoret's business community to deliver impressive growth. Eldoret ascends to city status at a time when 50% of humanity lives and works in urban centers, making the 21st century an urban century. As the City of Champions, it is essential that Eldoret focuses on the great opportunities and significant challenges ahead, not only because the future is urban, but also because it has what it takes to emerge as the ultimate city of the future. Today, therefore, is also our moment to reflect on the effort we have made and the commitment and determination it will take to make Eldoret a smart, livable city that will thrive like a champion in a complex and rapidly changing present and future. We need to harness our people's initiatives, dedication and industry to leverage technology and transform this city and county's potential to provide residents with a high quality urban experience while offering investors, professionals and entrepreneurs an attractive environment to produce competitively. The answer to this question lies in the strategic framework laid down by this county through its planning, policy and regulatory as well as other mechanisms that must deliver a safe, orderly and ecologically sustainable and efficient city that promotes the dignity and well-being of residents and communities. The new city must also foster an economic environment which provides opportunities and a business climate that rewards enterprises which bring 
their investment into this great town. The performance of any urban area depends on the degree of focus with which its leadership and professionals engage with a critical matter of spatial and urban planning, as this is the only means of achieving orderly, functional and efficient cities. It is also greatly determined by the level of success in implementing devolution, establishing effective county government structures and the efficiency of resource mobilization and expenditure by county governments. The forthcoming regulations under the Urban Areas and Cities Act are intended to further enhance the governance and management of urban areas. At the same time, ongoing partnerships and collaborations have enabled us make progress in identifying and addressing critical priorities related to urban governance, infrastructure development, and the development of mechanisms to promote development and sustainability. I have in mind such initiatives as the Kenya Urban Government, commonly known as, known as Kenya, and the Kenya Urban Support Program, Phase 2, which represents a cumulative investment of US dollars 1.35 billion aimed at creating livable cities and I want to declare that Eldoret will be among the beneficiaries of this fund. Eldoret will benefit significantly from these initiatives which focus on infrastructural investment such as waste management, connectivity and social infrastructure. Similarly, Eldoret is also benefiting from the various national government projects, including the ongoing construction of Eldoret Central Market, the whole infrastructure around housing, and I am happy to say that close to 10,000 housing units are currently underway, under construction in Eldoret City, from Kidiwa to Bayonia to Kimumu and many other areas. And I want to encourage residents of Wasingishu County that it is time for us to stop the land fragmentation that is going on so that we can save land, agricultural land for agricultural productivity, so that we can ensure that we have food security in our country. I want to encourage farmers, I want to encourage the residents of Wasingishu. As has been said, this town was built by farmers. It was built by business people. It was built by professionals. But that charge was laid by farmers. We, for us to sustain the city of Eldoret, farming must continue to be at the heart of the growth of this Wasingishu County. Yesterday, when I saw farmers come with their tractors into the city, I was not around. I would have also come with my tractor to the city of this, to this city. Because as a farmer, we have built this city with our hard work as farmers. This and many other programs and projects are part of our agenda to reignite the creative, productive, and competitive energy in the city of champions, giving Kenyans the best chance of winning the race to the future. At the same time, we must remain mindful of the need to address urban vulnerabilities to climate. This is why the Department of Housing and Urban Development has identified 580 hotspots where we will urgently implement climate resilient programs aimed at protecting the urban vulnerable from the adverse impacts of climate change. We intend to roll out this program in the next one month. I have been following with great interest the work that has prepared Android for city status. And I am satisfied that the leadership, professional commitment, and collaborative spirit invested in the proceedings are a sign of good things to come for the City of Champions. 
the presence of our Olympic champions in this meeting, having arrived just yesterday, is a signal that in fact this indeed will be the city of champions. It is important that we provide a conducive environment for everyone, from the county assembly and executive to professionals in national and county governments, business community, investors and the residents of Eldred and Wasingishu to give their best and give Kenya a city worthy of a gold medal. What you have done so far is commendable and you must now proceed together to the next higher step. I commend the people of Wasingishu County, members of Wasingishu County Assembly and executive members, as well as the business and investment community professionals and every worker and every business person for their invaluable support and countless hours of effort to make this transition possible. At a very personal level, I am a very proud person today that this city that I grew up around